Welcome back to question two of this series where we discuss and calculate osmotic pressure. We ended off with question number two, which reads, calculate the osmotic pressure in atmospheres of a solution containing 1.50 grams ethylene glycol in 50 decimal zero milliliters of solution at 25 degrees Celsius. Remember the formula for osmotic pressure? We used it in question number one, it's right here, where this symbol, pi, represents the osmotic pressure and you find it by multiplying the molarity times the ideal gas law times the temperature in Kelvin. Let's see what we have in our particular example. We don't have the molarity, although it can be found. We already know the ideal gas law, so R is taken care of. And the temperature can be found by taking 25 plus 273. So let's do that first. Let's find the temperature. We take 25 degrees Celsius and we add 273 this gives us 298 Kelvin. So we know T for this formula, I'll rewrite it over here. The osmotic pressure is the molarity times the ideal gas law times the temperature. The ideal gas law shown right there will be substituted here, 0.08206. And now we need to find the molarity. Molarity, remember, is a ratio that compares the moles of the solute per the volume of the solution. We know the volume of the solution. It's 50 milliliters. So I'll write down 50 decimal zero milliliters at the bottom. That's the volume of the solution. It will eventually need to be converted into liters. We need to find the moles of the solute. That's ethylene glycol. First, we find the molar mass of ethylene glycol. That will give us grams per mole. Once I find grams per mole, I can then somehow multiply it to 1.50 to get the moles. So let's start off by finding the grams per mole, the molar mass. We have two carbons, so carbon has a molar mass of 12.01 multiplied to 2 plus 1.01, the molar mass of hydrogen, times 6 plus 16.00 times 2. Now using our calculator, 12.01 times 2 plus 1 decimal zero 1 times 6 plus 16 decimal zero 0 times 2. We end up with 62.08 62 zero 8 grams per mole. Notice that this ratio has grams over mole, although we can write it as 1 mole per 62 decimal zero 8 grams. The reason why I want to write it like this is so that when I multiply it to 1.50, multiply to 1 decimal 50 grams, this gram unit and this gram unit will cancel out leaving us with the moles of ethylene glycol. And that can be then placed into there. Let's go ahead and do that. 1.50 divided by 62.08 and this gives us roughly 0 0.0241. I'm not going to record that number just yet. Because remember, I need to divide it by 50.0 milliliters, and that needs to be changed into liters, because molarity is moles per liter. So I'll change that into liters as well, and I'll take this number, divide it by this number, but in liters, which is 0 0.050. Just pretend that we moved this decimal place three times to the left. And this gives us a molarity of 0 0.4832. Now, of course, you can record that on your page, although just to be more accurate, I'll leave what I have on my calculator right there and multiply that now to the ideal gas law, which was given to us, 0 0.08206, and then multiply that by 298. This gives us 11.81, and we need this to three significant figures. So our final answer should be 11.8. 11.8 atmosphere. And there you have it, another example on how to calculate osmotic pressure.